Five Craziest Things Doctors Have Ever Done. Doctors have always been respected since the beginning of time because they save lives. Have you ever thought that they could do something crazy? If you haven't heard a few, these will shock you. The doctor who operated on his own appendix. Leonid Rogozov, a Russian surgeon, became ill during an expedition to the Antarctic. He was seriously in need of an operation, despite being the only doctor on the team. But what could he do? Poor Rogozov had to perform it by himself to save his own life. Luckily for him, he had no difficulties diagnosing acute appendicitis. He nominated two assistants to hold a mirror, position the lamp, and hand him the instruments. Although he was scared too, Rogozov survived the ordeal and resumed his usual duties after two weeks. Fasting cures all ailments. This was one crazy philosophy for Dr. Linda Burfield Hazard, a dummy doctor who received her license without going for any medical studies. She had created a recipe for disaster, having a legal license without medical training. She was based on her own medical philosophy that there was no need to run tests. Fasting cures all ailments. She used to prescribe strict diets of asparagus broth and tomato whenever her patients came for treatment. Most of Linda's patients never survived from their conditions, and her treatment facility earned the name Starvation Heights. Found guilty of fertility. Cecil B. Jacobson was a doctor who was known to have fathered as many as 75 children. What rings in your mind when you hear this? Some would even ask, who is the mother of all those kids? Dr. Jacobson, a fertility doctor, made his patients believe that they could get pregnant. However, he was not clear as to how he handled his work. The patients thought that their pregnancy came from the sperms that were being supplied by screen donors. It ended up that Dr. Jacobson's sperms were the ones impregnating them. His license was revoked after being convicted in 1992. The Ruthless Gynecologist. Dr. Charles Moma is a gynecologist who turned his profession to molesting and raping up most of his patients. He went ahead to bring his twin brother into action. A police report was filed by one patient against Dr. Moma. No one believed her story, but it became a reality once more of the patients came up with similar incidences. He was sentenced to serve 20 years in prison. The Killer Doctor. Joseph Michael Swango is a doctor whose hobby was murdering his patients and co-workers. Most of Swango's patients could be found dropped dead along streets and, and other hallways. Some of the accusations against his actions were dropped due to lack of solid evidence. He was caught in 1985 poisoning his co-workers and served five-year sentence in prison. Dr. Swango resumed his killing duties after he left prison using forged documents and a fake name. He was apprehended for the again after flying to Saudi Arabia after evading the FBI for years. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.